we skipped the, the dramatic intro. <laughs> There's no wine straight Day up. one. Yeah. I had dreamt of blood upon the shore, of eyes that spoke of sin. The lake was smooth and deep and black, as was her scented skin. You're trying to do a Christopher Walken. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is my southern husky <laughs> gentleman voice. <laughs> and I do your southern woman. Oh, hang on. It's not done. It's it's switched voice back on and text off. Rough first. No. Huh. I'm sorry, but Gabriel is a lout. I, I mean, he's out. Yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, you could do better. I, I know, I don't know you, but you could do better. <laughs> sure, sure. Good morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Uh huh. Gee, you're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? Sort of. <laughs> mm-hmm. I told you that's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. As in a karma to your face. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. And I'll go down with the Vietnam vet. <laughs> Sigh. So don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Really? Great. I can't wait to violate someone with this. <laughs> I, can't wait to <laughs> to I can't wait to see that hu what human rights you violate with this one. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you just let me... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> and I located some local voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You wouldn't. You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the great level had... Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And them big hairy things. <laughs> 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 and a written personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. We aren't? I thought I brought you in here to make my business sore. I guess we should have a little conversation with you. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Your face! <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about... Do. We'll only hear this line about seven more times in this game. I don't know much about any, anything about it until you started researching for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city and there's a shop and museum. Where have you been living all your life? It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Uh -huh. You, jackass. What can you tell me about this voodoo murder? Oh, I, sorry, I clicked through that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about New Orleans? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's good. Just like your pants. <laughs> it's much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Like a flood. Cause <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, right. Grace. <laughs> yeah, right, Knight. I'm serious. I mean it. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh, how come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As <laughs> soon as I get it, I'll let you know. Oh, she's suggesting that she needs half her brain smashed up before she'll go out with him. How do you That's like working funny. at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Like my pants? <laughs> Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. <laughs> About that. 
I'll pay you in something that isn't funny. <laughs> what? Ooh. What do you do after work? I either go to my what oh, oil well, painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You know you can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Mmm, works for me. <laughs> yeah, because he's clearly someone who's um, not done any exercise for the last you know, 10 years. That's how I got this six pack. <laughs> <laughs> magically full. Oh, beer in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a six pack of beer in my fridge. Uh, you got a six pack of beer on your stuff. stomach. That's your beer gut. Oh. I have that as well. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Forty-five. Old enough to know. Old enough to know about men like you. So that would be sixteen. Just oh. tell me anything, anything at all. <laughs> your pants smell. <laughs> I just got my masters in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but eighteen years of school was enough. I needed a break. Okay. Just tell me anything. Anything at all. <laughs> I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it. I thought spending a few months here would clear my mind of all the penises. But then you came along. <laughs> yeah, I did. Just tell me anything at all. I've always wanted to do something really adventurous, you know? Like using whips and leather. Something <laughs> real life. I'm sick of libraries and lecture halls. That's why I want to join BDSM. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. Suit yourself. Jackass. <laughs> uh, do you have any messages for me? Dara called, and Susie left a message about a lawsuit. You sure that wasn't Dana, but Tarson? I can't <laughs> read it properly from back here. Okie dokie. There's more than you, m more when you want them. Sweet. Do you have so I didn't bother telling more you messages them. for you? Your grandmother called. God, Whoa! Is she, is she okay? Is she, she alright? Do I have to get over there right now? Do I have to call the police? <laughs> She sounded great. Her and her friend Elma were going out on a tour of the naked beaches of France. Great. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I don't go into any detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you w should surprise her. She adores you anyway. Yeah, she done it all. She's my girl. Incest for the wincest. <laughs> but she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some laden hosen there. <laughs> I love me some laden hosen. Do you have more messages for me? Your pants still smell, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Here's a strange one. You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He said he was calling from Germany. Germany! <laughs> he told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. In call Germany. Germany? Like heck, if it's real important, he'll call back. Hopefully tell me what it is. Haven't they heard of Skype? I talk to people in Germany all the time. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Yeah, because that really would happen in 1993. This is now a period piece. Isn't that depressing? Yeah. Do you have <laughs> exactly. more messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talking it, is it? Yeah. What? Especially you. with you. What did he want? He wanted in my pants. He left an interesting message sure about my pants. He told me to tell you that his mother maiden name is Humphrey. That's Humphrey Hump. H U M P H R E Y in your pants. Fascinating. <laughs> and that he left some photos for you at the station at the front desk. Wink wink. It's about in your time. Pants. In my pants. <laughs> they're, they're from that holiday you had. <laughs> Gabriel, those photos wouldn't have anything to do with the voodoo murders, would they? No, just Or that out. holiday you took on the boat? No, just out, <laughs> just last Saturday night. <laughs> Why would you say something like that? that? They're all because over I Facebook, man. <laughs> You're getting privileged information, aren't you? 
Did you tell him you put him in your new voodoo book? Because that's so ha what cops would do. Wow, no, I'm going to put him in my them. new voodoo book in him. Oh. <laughs> uh, has a certain obligation to his readers, doesn't he? Gabriel, you know you never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. Sexy. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull. You keep screwing with your karma. Sexy. What's wrong with being a pit bull? Sexy. As long as it's a <coughs> male pit bull with a really big hot dog. Penis! <laughs> That's enough. Thanks anyway. That's all the messages. Thank God. Uh, I'd request some... Oh, can I request anything right now? Sure what? Sure what? Uh, I can't think of anything. Just research a, getting a bra. You need one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you liked them just hanging loose at my kneecaps. Alright. I, I do, but they get saggy. I think I'm gonna read the newspaper. You know what that means. The narrator's gonna talk now? Oh yeah. Finally. Oh, Someone else can my narrator to talking. Times pick you. Dated June 18, 1993. The front page has an article about the voodoo murder. So oh, I gotta talk faster. The article says that the vi victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Police. Oh, it went all blurry again. Police claim the so called voodoo trappings found at the crime scenes are a fake, a scare tactic, and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioner. <laughs> Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. What's well, a bit hey. fucking hard? Right. Hey Gabriel, do you want to try bondage? <laughs> uh, maybe later, Grace. I mean, mostly. No, no, no. That was mostly. <laughs> that was mostly walking past, yelling in <laughs> through the mail slot. <laughs> Gabriel. Mm, good coffee. Gotta drink me some coffee. Oh, even though I just drank some. Also, Rizoka T Bones here. Yay! Except we're recording, so that no one knows that T-Bone is watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, T-Bone. You're watching us. Oh. No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. I was looking at the other page. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I'm going to take these tweezers, too. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. But I needed to pluck my head. Oh, don't worry. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. Yeah. I know. Just trying to make you feel at home. Uh, I'm also Wait, gonna... is he suggesting that, is he suggesting that he, her father also looks scruffy? Yes. Or that he plucks his eyebrows. Oh, totally. I'm, I'm gonna read a random mm. book of uh, poetry if I can remember where it is. That doesn't seem to be removable. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel, oh. Oh, here it is. Rapid clicking! I found it. <laughs> Get, oh. Right Gabriel on. selects a volume of German poetry that he always found strangely compelling. Like the narrator's it. a bad kid. Yeah. French Drei now. Drachen. Drei Drachen klicken in meine Schlaf. Se wudi, se, se lebeding, zum Fras. Fulen if only our German friends were up, we could actually force them to just read that for <laughs> us. <laughs> oh. That's nice. Kind of creepy, though. Who's the author? Uh, I don't know. Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling the guy was one sick puppy. Wow, Ritter. Hmm, I can mm. see a connection. Why? My name's not. Adventure nice. games. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ritter. Gabriel yeah, Ritter. Ritter. Gabriel leaves to a German English dictionary. <laughs> Mittag means Monday. Look, oh, midday. No, mid midday. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Gabriel, so I draw an English dictionary. Spiel means game. Interesting. Like we're playing. Uh, himmel means heaven. Uh huh. <sighs> Dry means three. Yes, oh god, you're just gonna like keep reading through the book? Like, he's just like looking at one word and then putting it down, and like picking it back up, reading one word, putting it back down. Oh god, another word! Oh! <laughs> come on, come on. Here we go. Draken means dragons. I wonder if Mosley would know he'd be insulted if I called him Draken Bread. 
How was calling yes, someone dragon breath insulting? <laughs> oh, and now another like, you got dragon breaking. breath. Hi, roses. We're recording this, but okay. Hi. I can cut it out. <laughs> no, who, who cares? It's, we've got to be able to talk to those people. They're important. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys. You guys are important. Yeah. <clears throat> it'll only add to it'll only add to the awesomeness. Like when people watch it in YouTube, going, "Where the fuck's roses?" Dude, 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 dude. You have a line. If you try to look down my shirt one more time, I'm leaving. You Hell, click through the next. Just one. trying to ref uh, refresh my memory. I know what you're trying to refresh, and it isn't your memory. Get down and stop taking that Viagra, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to refresh his browser. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Gabriel! I told you to stop using Internet Explorer. Uh huh. What's uh -huh. Internet Explorer? <laughs> <laughs> no, they would have had Internet Explorer back then, and it would have oh, been between true. Internet Explorer or Netscape. Yeah, we use that's Netscape right. here, and someone's using MSN. I'm going to the police station. Uh, yeah, that was me. So <laughs> Mosley's going to get somewhere. lines. Holy shit! No, not yet, because oh, we don't get to meet you yet. Um, but we do get to meet Officer Frick. Oh, Officer Frick. You know, Rick sounds like Cedric. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, please do! Please do! But, see, whenever I hear Officer Frick, I just think of Frick off, because that's what my dad used to say. Got a second, Officer? <laughs> Ooh, what can I do you for? <laughs> Cedric! <laughs> Cedric is here! <laughs> what can you tell me about voodoo? Oh, me? Nothing. I'm a poisonous Catholic boy. God <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I can't drink while I was doing this. Whoa, I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases, Gabriel. I never did it. <laughs> what can you tell me about New Orleans? Whoa, I tell you, I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it was Mardi Gras, I'd be staying in here. And also, a cop being a cop would be pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I, I just I just pushed you back into a conversation about New Orleans. Tell me about yourself. Alright. <clears throat> what? Me? I'm the desk sergeant. Cedric, why? Frick? No, I said Cedric. You got a problem with that? No, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. What? I'm an owl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch people come in. See this book? Yeah. <laughs> well, I write people's names in it. See. People that bother me want me to put your name in this book <laughs> because mine is in it fifty times. <laughs> it's a poisonous uh, book. I, I think not. <laughs> That's what I thought. I, I'm here to see Detective Mosley. <clears throat> He's out at a crime scene out there, and I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> About Detective Mosley. Oh, I told you he's not here. <laughs> I need, I need to, oh, I need to breathe. Please finish this conversation. That's poisonous, <laughs> Mosley. I was supposed to pick up some photos from a uh, detective Mosley at the front desk. <sighs> oh, is that right? And who are you? My name's Nod, Gabriel Nod. Yeah, I got something for you, all right. Soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. With some magic powder, we can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Poison a snake. Oh. 
Oh, here's that poisonous envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. Watch out! It's poisonous. <laughs> Did I mention it's poisonous? <laughs> 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 Oh god, that is the best freaking Cedric ever. Oh. There is the guy who actually voiced Cedric is just sitting in a bathtub at home going, I suck. This guy's better than me at my own Gabriel place. opens the Manila envelope and finds two photographs. <laughs> Manila. The photograph oh, of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. He but you can't see it because he's got a hat He on. still has the creepy smile though that's like, I'm gonna rape you so I bad. You. I love you <laughs> so much. handsome table. <laughs> Ooh. One of the uh. photos from Mosley is an official Voodoo <laughs> Mother's crime scene shot. A graphic close-up of a victim. Shot, shot on a nice little sort of angle, you know. Because yeah. you know like crime scene photographers, they're always like trying to be artistic and you know, sort of take the shot on an angle. Not well, it's, it's tasteful because if they had moved the camera just a couple of yeah. feet or feet just we, over, you would have totally gotten a crotch shot in yeah, that picture. Yeah, we'd so. be in deep wang. <laughs> deep wang. <laughs> deep wang. Oh, It'd be a sausage fest. Oh, God. Uh, it pretty much is a sausage fest. You already have one girl. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Um, oh, Napoleon House. Oh, boy. Uh, have we picked who our bartender is? No, but I no. think it should be either Darth or... So George. Well, actually, Rizalka, it could be... <laughs> you could talk to yourself. <laughs> yeah, talk to yourself. That, that's good. That's a good idea. I, I also begs Malia because I want to be sexy. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we need to cast Sam and, uh, and, and, and the other guy, the other douchebag. I'll, I'll be the guy that always loses until he gets his confidence back. Okay, so that's Sam. He's in purple, and Suki's the silver guy. Okay. But first, let me have a conversation with myself. That's cool. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, I'm not too busy at the moment. What do you know about voodoo? Voodoo? Don't believe in it myself. I once invented a drink called LeVu's Tomb, but it wasn't very popular. Plus, that was LeVo, not LeVu. Some people do believe it, though. I think it should be LeVu for this playthrough. <laughs> Even though Mary <laughs> LeVu. Mary LeVu. <laughs> uh, what do you Is she related to Lorna Baines? I'm uh -huh, Lorna Baines. She's her aunt. It's all over the papers. Some kind of serial killings. But I don't believe serial could kill someone. <laughs> what can you tell me about New Orleans? Greatest city in the world. I never want to live anywhere else. Except for Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Oh, sorry. A good bartender listens to his own people's life stories without telling his own. In fact, I don't tell own anyone. Own people's? Yeah. The, the, the bartender what can owns you tell people? Me? These are my people. What can you tell me about those suspenders and bow tie you're wearing there, Mr. Bartender? <laughs> yes. Yes? He kind of looks yes. like Freddie Mercury. Oh, yes. <laughs> Except with play the poofier game. hair. Everybody play the game. <laughs> what can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd, these crowd of the most, uh, the people you see here are mostly regulars. That girl and the guy in the corner come here a lot. When they're not fighting, they're all over each other. But they get quite graphic, actually. In other words, <laughs> that's, that's, that's from Legislate Suit Larry Gabriel Night Edition. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> They've been playing here every day for 20 years. <laughs> Sam, see that one in the purple jacket? He's lost every one of those games. <laughs> I'm some Lea Hillbilly. It's not that he's a bad player. It's just that I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has <laughs> Sam so sucked down. He loses his nerve every near time. Tom? Tom! By the way, Sam the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about them spells and grigris and stuff. Who is Gris Gris? Thanks. That's grigri. You speak, you gotta speak like voodoo, man. Voodoo! By the way, <clears throat> the bartender looks like Freddie Mercury. Has anybody ever thought that Gabriel Knight kind of looks like David Bowie? Oh, oh God! <laughs> 
<laughs> Gabriel Knight slash bartender flick. <laughs> You've been coming you? here, what, ten years now? Uh, don't remind me. We're still waiting for that best seller. Uh, what don't you hold your breath. What can you tell me about my package? <laughs> <laughs> tell me about the, uh, street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they're pretty monotonous sometimes, you know? Ah, uh, like that drummer out there. I like drums. They say there's been a drummer on time Napoleon House since the day it opened. I like drums, but this drum is really getting on my drums. It's like the same thing all over again. I just want to say drums, drums. <laughs> Sounds like my life. <laughs> Tell me about the street <laughs> Everyone right here. life is drums. <laughs> Don't know what else I could drum. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what else I could drum into you. So what? So what has Sam told you about Voodoo? Well, about fifty drums ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty drum he was in love with. <laughs> <laughs> he went to a Voodooin and had him make him a love drum. It was a little drum that he had to bury underneath the girl's front drum. <laughs> well, he. He drummed the pouch, and the next day he went up and talked to the drum, and sure enough, she didn't drum him. <laughs> drum to the drum to the drum to drum 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 drum. Now she's eh? his drum, poor drum. <laughs> so what has Sam told about voodoo? Uh, that's all I can drum. <laughs> I tell you, these drums just get on your drum and mind for drum's sake. <laughs> drum, drums. <laughs> uh. Um, that's all we can really do here at the moment, because like, we can't talk to- Excuse me, I'd hate to interrupt your game, but couldn't I ask you two a question? Doth. What game? This isn't a game, it's a slaughter! Oh, I was still- Suki, Suki, you're perp- Oh, so you're right, I it's flipped right. it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, who cares? <laughs> okay, so Darth is in purple, <laughs> and Suki's in white. Even though Suki always keeps going for manly lilac. Manly Lila. Manly Lila. Manly Lila. Oh, Manly Lila. There's a lot of purple in this game. <laughs> there is a lot of purple in this game. Uh, There's a Manly Lila guy in the show. Uh, oh, oh, let's go see Gran. <laughs> <laughs> this can only end well. <laughs> but her and Elmer went on a trip. We know this. But they're back now. They're <laughs> back. I'm so glad you stopped by. Granted, you don't sound too good, Grandma. I forgot to take my hormones today. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Gran, you got a mustache. <laughs> now come and sit down. Tell me how you're doing. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I gotta click into a text box with you. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Grin, what do you, can you tell me about voodoo? Well, I practice it every day. <laughs> what an odd question, Gabriel. How I look so young. Of course, you always were interested in monster movies and all that other weird stuff, like French porn. You <laughs> get that from your father and granddad. I don't know anything about it, dear. Wink, wink. Despite <laughs> the fact that my voice actress is the same voice actress as Tetelo. Anyway, it was very big in New Orleans at one time, but you don't hear so much about it these days. Too much else in the world to worry about, I guess. Like diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I got the diabetes. She reminded me of Wilford Brimley for some reason. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? I did them! I, I mean, <laughs> I didn't watch you. I sometimes wonder what this world is coming to. <laughs> well, they let an old lady just murder people. A horrible what, world. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Sorry, this is a bit hard to take in, Graham. <laughs> New Orleans is very southern. Of course, though not as much as it used to be when I was a girl, it's gotten much more influenced by the East Coast and that California stuff. Uh, do what do you say? California, California like dragged it across the country, <laughs> like you're coming to me. Still, it hasn't changed as much as other places. I reckon we've always been happy here. Yeah, I, I could go for a, for a California roll right now. 
Tell me about yourself. <laughs> well, me and Elmo. Me? Surely you have something more interesting to talk about, like my girlfriend Alma. Oh, come <laughs> on, Gran. All right, dear. What do you want to hear? Oh, well, what do you do all day? <laughs> I told you about my girlfriend Elmo. <laughs> You know how I love to knit and work in my garden. Wink, wink. I also take long walks along the beach. It's the only way to keep an old body like mine from stiffening up. Friend, you're not stiff. Wait. Don't be foolish. I'm stiffer than your face. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I'm stiffer than when you used that Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about tell me about before you met Granddaddy. Well, you know I was born Rebecca Wright. Black. My daddy owned a lot of land outside of town. We grew peas, corn, cotton, all Wee. kinds of things. We <laughs> It was a very good. Ch I was a good childhood, but my father was very strict. He didn't much let me out of his sight. I've been talking to Grace Except about it. And, and, she me. seems yeah, to enjoy he's it. Punching me and and hitting me. Uh, tell me about how you met Granddaddy. Well, that's an interesting story. I met Harrison at a whorehouse. <laughs> there was a traveling preacher back then, a big fella, if you know what I mean, named Reverend Jim. I even remember his slogan, Come to me to come your way. <laughs> your granddad was with me in the room and my girlfriend Alma. And at one point, old Reverend Jim was flinging his, his hair around with his fire and brimstone antics. And a piece of it, one of his penis pit bits, went flying off. I swear Harrison and I were the only ones that noticed. <laughs> Just... So we both started laughing to beat the band. Whatever that means. Everyone looked at us like we were a couple of loonies, which we were. It was then I knew that he was for me. So I told Alma to get the hell out of my sight, that dirty crack whore. <laughs> this is turning into a Harlequin romance novel. <laughs> Oh, I need to Turning fan myself. Twilight. Whoa, what a story! You're not the only one. <laughs> How are you feeling these days? Fit as a fiddle, and don't you worry your head about it. Just tell about me what? anything, anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> I had your father when I was twenty-two. The doctors told me I couldn't have any more after that, so I'm afraid I spoiled him rotten. Well, and I'm talking about the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That doctor got a visit to somewhere just, special. Just tell me anything at all. Grandma made a house call that night. <laughs> I never loved any man but your grandfather, and I never will again. Except for <laughs> women of your other wing, hand. <laughs> Just tell me anything, anything at all. I hate to admit it, but I was a jealous little thing when your granddaddy and I were younger. I loved him so ferociously, and he did attract the eyes of the ladies, whether he wanted to or not. What? Uh -oh. No, no, she was actually jealous because what? she was the, oh. look at her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just tell me anything, anything at all. <laughs> Grandma, you're making me throw up. Oh, I God. get lonely sometimes, but I have lots of girlfriends in the neighborhood. I'll call one of them if I'm feeling blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me anything at all, Grandma. Whew. I wish you'd settle down and give me a great grandchild. Oh, Gran. <laughs> You know I'm not interested in women. Well, I'll 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 be the surrogate if you don't find anyone. <laughs> oh, 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 incest for the windset. <laughs> oh, one more. Just tell me anything at all. 
Oh no, he, she already hmm. said that. So old Ned. I had mind. your father. Oh. All right, dear. All right, dear. I wanted to say it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just meant that. That's why I stole it. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> Compliment her. Yeah. Oh, you know you look prettier every time I see you. I know, dear. <laughs> 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 Have you baked any of your incredible molasses piss lately? I mean, pies. <laughs> no, but I got a fresh patch of my weed brownies. You want some? I'll whip up half a dozen. I ate them all. <laughs> I wonder what words of the face does look stoned. You lost know, weight. Are you eating all right, Gran? <laughs> Gabriel, don't be silly. You know I'm anorexic. <laughs> oh, oh, poor Gran. <laughs> Your hair looks very pretty today, Gran. <laughs> Upstairs and well, downstairs. thank you, dear. So does the... Uh, you've always had such nice, thick hair, Gabriel. And yeah. I'm not talking about the hair on your head. Yeah, I cut it with a <laughs> weed whacker. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't let a weed whacker near that. Oh, it's a very special weed yeah. whacker. Uh, you know, I always tell Some people place. that my gran is the prettiest old gran bell in the city. City. City town. Oh, dear, you shouldn't talk so. You should tell them that I'm the... <laughs> I don't know. You should tell them I'm still hooking. Out of the pit. times prettier than me. You should tell them I'm still hooking. <laughs> Wait, is her name Grandma Marie? <laughs> no, 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 she's... I believe her. Na I believe she's Grandma Becca. Rebecca. No, she's Grandma right. Marie. She, uh, now she's Grandma Marie. Right. She yeah, changed. She changed. Her. <sighs> Only because she said she was born Rebecca Wright. She didn't say she stayed. That's with her. her. Well, that's her stage name. Her stage name is Grandma Marie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she performs. She performs at one of the clubs down on Bourbon Street. Tell me about our family. I've never heard this before. They're a bunch of drunks and whores. Who'd you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? Uh, I'd love to hear about granddaddy. Your granddad immigrated to America when he was 21. Oh. He worked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. And then he married the queen and got... Yeah, got in trouble. <laughs> then he came back to me. <laughs> Tell me about granddaddy. Your granddad was hung like a horse. <laughs> he hated every minute of it. <laughs> he hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. He wanted to be a porn star. <laughs> Maybe that's why he had the worst luck with jobs. Oh, the nights he'd come home afraid to tell me he lost another, and I would tell him it didn't matter to me, but he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Ashamed! <laughs> because of his giant penis dragging on the floor. <laughs> More about Granddaddy, please. <laughs> Harrison was only 36 when he died. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. At least, that's what the official reports say. I think he choked on his own vomit. It took me a nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm, I'm sorry. And his penis. <laughs> he's, looking in the co he's looking in the coffin, not enough. Like, yep, yep, he's dead, he's dead body there. Woo! <laughs> Tell me about Pappy. <laughs> Your father was my only child. How we adored him! <laughs> Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. They were two peas in a pod. As long as they weren't two peas. Funnily, yeah. enough, two peas funnily in enough, those nightmares started right after he walked in on me in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Pappy. <laughs> when Philip met your mother, it was love at first sight. They were married two weeks later. Never looked at a girl seriously until then, and he'd looked at plenty he of men. <laughs> <laughs> you have your father's way with women, Gabriel, and your granddad's 
blush. <laughs> wait, wait, no, that's Put disturbing. His... That's really bad all by itself. Put your granddad's blush back in his vanity, Gabriel. I didn't give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Tell me about Mama. Your mother was a whore for your father. <laughs> She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. And she served only rich customers. <laughs> she was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of course. But I also think she liked defying her family of whores. <laughs> <laughs> I won't whore no more! <laughs> Since you're so interested in family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number 1 and visit the family tomb? It would be a sweet gesture. Maybe Wait, there's more, than, there's more than one St. Louis Cemetery? Were there like six of them? Just, like, there's separated like three, I think. City? Yeah, there's about three from memory. Couldn't they think of a new name? No. <laughs> Just like, we need to name the cemetery. St. Louis. <laughs> I'm going up to the attic, Grand. Be careful of the dust Peter. in my crotch. <laughs> 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 Uh, Elma doesn't blow it out right. <laughs> and don't go to the chest at the back. I think I'll take oh, Daddy's sketchbook God. with me. Gabriel, I, I think this might be needing to go up on Blip. YouTube might have a hissy fit about this one. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened to freedom of speech? Yeah. <laughs> you don't get that on YouTube. <laughs> you get well. reported for adult content. It wouldn't get removed, but it would get. It'd probably get reported so that people. Would need a YouTube Only account by and be over eighteen, <laughs> including a parent. YouTube, aren't they called BDSM queer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, darling. Curious hiking boots, more of Harrison's Knights German books. <laughs> Just Drama. <what> I needed. <laughs> and a bundle of letters, love letters between Harrison and Rebecca, with a lot of odd stains on them. <laughs> 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 Well, they're, they're sealed with a loving kiss. I suppose you could, um, seal with a sticky liquid. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm so bad. I'm like the power glove. It's so bad. Alright. Dragon's at midday. Dragon's at midday. Dragon's at midday. This puzzle's one of those ones that's like, how the hell are you supposed to work this out? I mean, he like, you know, he likes the poem. But how is that in any reference to a freaking clock? <laughs> then why is the narrator a Jamaican? Because it's <laughs> Dwayne creeping back to say hello. Yeah. Oh, Dwayne. How we miss him. No, no, we don't. <laughs> I do. So this is where um this is where grandma keeps her porn stash. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is this is grandpa's porn stash. Oh right. His porn stat. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> you see that I, I, can all, I can almost see, like, their neck. That's pretty sexy. The old photograph shows Gabriel's grandfather with two men he has not yet identified. Two big, strong German men. Wink, wink. <sighs> Let's read the letter. The letter is addressed to Heinz Ritter. Ooh. That is kind of Jamaican, isn't it? <laughs> The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schlong Ritter in Rittersburg, <laughs> West Germany. The letter is addressed to mein son Heinz 57 and signed Wilhelm Ritter. Heinz <laughs> 57. One of the reoccurring words thro strewn throughout the letter is the word Schottenjäger. Meister. Sounds like an awesome the drink. Only <laughs> the only other thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of a quill tip, bold strokes, and underlining. Uh, That's a very uh, uh, thorough like handwriting analysis. Yeah, he's pretty yeah. good at that. I mean, I just looked at it and gone, yeah, it looks like someone wrote on this oh, paper. Oh, oh someone's, got, someone's got a good replacement for Schattenjäger in this. Schadenfreude. Ah, Schadenfreude. good one. Sins of the I, I like I like Shat I like I like Shattenjager Meister. <laughs> Meister. Take of a load off, hon. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Uh. 
Have you ever heard of a Schadenjägermeister? <laughs> Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude? <laughs> How odd, Gabriel. I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. After we would make love. Really? <laughs> Do you know what it means? Make love. I, I, <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Oh. Thanks, Green. Uh, do you know anyone named Hans Richter 57? Hans Bean Bean. Hans 57 Ritter. <laughs> oh, Gabriel, where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's cock. I'm in clock. <laughs> 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 I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Green. Like you How your granddad's closet. lover was Hodge 57 Ritter before he came to America. He changed him to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. And then killed him and took his identity. You must check the Why did granddad change his name? You would too if your name was Heinrich Flufel Doofel the Third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who actually called him Adolf Hitler? He, ne <laughs> he never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his passport in his drawers. Since he obviously found it painful that I was looking in his drawers, I never questioned him about it, but I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. No, no, no. Except for those the, murders. The best man. Except for those the, murdering. The, the best man I ever blew. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now the circle of life is complete. Yeah. Uh, you've just you've just made people think of that grandma giving a blowjob to someone. <laughs> Make well, sure man. I take out my dentures first. I better get going. <laughs> All right, dear. Or, oh, <laughs> right, dear. Oh, touch me there. I, I hate Grandma so much. No. <laughs> We've just made her the most disgusting woman in the entire world. Ha. Oh, someone randomly. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask what you want. I'll answer what I want. Wow, you're kind of burly. Well, can you what, can you tell me what you know about food? This is a novelty shop, Missa. <laughs> Missa? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. Monsieur. Monsieur. <laughs> You I don't speak French! <laughs> Do you think I'm stupid? Th this is a voodoo shop. Look at all this stuff. These are novelties. Curiosities. If people want to think they're magic, it's not my concern, you know. Uh, what do you know about the voodoo murders? Cabrit Sans Call. Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. These killings have nothing to do with my shop, missa. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> what? What can you tell me about New Orleans? I've lived here all my life, me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just how he goes, me. <laughs> oh. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of me. <laughs> I'm proud of me. <laughs> oh. What did you mean when you said Capri send core? <laughs> I didn't say that, you lying liar pants. You did. I heard you say it. <laughs> you heard wrong, mister. <laughs> I said no such thing. I don't have my dog, mister. <laughs> have you ever heard of a Schadenfreud? <laughs> Man, I don't even know what language that is. What is it? Finnish? Uh, maybe Swedish. Maybe. Tell me about yourself. 
My name's Willie Walker. I own the place. I'm just and I beat up people in an outfit. I'm just owning you now because you should have said Willy Wanker. Too late now. <laughs> oh, too late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me about I'm yourself. Willy Wanker, me. You ruined how, the entire how'd, you, how'd you get in this kind of business? Why should I discuss my business with you, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, bye, shopkeeper. Merchant. Shop shopkeeper. <laughs> Merchant! Uh, shopkeeper? I will put on my superhero outfit and beat the shit out of you! <laughs> shopkeeper! Uh, I'm going to the historical voodoo museum. Ha! Oh, sorry, that's a. Ha! Look around all you want! <laughs> are you talking to yourself again, are you? Well, she doesn't yeah. talk much, but I think I might be using this voice again later somehow. I'll work it in. Uh, hey lady, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna walk very slowly over to touch you. I I'm coming. Uh, over to you. Over to you. Yeah. I, I can pretend I'm the drummer. Yeah. C could I ask you a few questions? I wouldn't be much healed. You should talk to Dr. John, the owner. He'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I see. Thank you. Is that the drummer that keeps... That, that guy I kept talking about. Drums, drums, drums. Yeah, drums, he... drums, drums. Is it actually the same drummer? It's not, is it? No, but they all look the no, same. No, that one's got dreadlocks. Yeah, they, they, all look, they all look identical. I don't use You the racist. Marker. Okay, well, there's nothing really to see here today. Besides seeing the drummer. <laughs> I'm an expert. And turning the fan on. Oh, uh, oh, you're right. I'm an expert player. But you can do that tomorrow, turning the fan on. Yeah, you can do that every day. I, I like. I'm Rums. going now, thanks. So long! Why did you even enter the store, you twat? <laughs> Bye! Why did you buy something, you asshole? Uh, yeah. I'm going to Jackson. Oh, wait, I'm going to Jackson Square. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the speed a bit. I feel I'm going a little slow. There we go, that's better. There's some random kids. Run, Gabriel! Around. People playing music. Uh, Get oh, a moving, Gabriel. There, there's a mime. Uh, hey. Oh god, who's doing the mime? No, the mime doesn't talk. We uh, need someone uh, for the policeman. Someone for that's the, the that was the joke. <laughs> okay, we need someone for the policeman though. So Sugarjan he... hasn't done anything really yet, so he can he yeah. can pick up the. Oh Christ! I got a fun voice. He's burly, so make him not burly. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's you, Sukajin. Yeah. Hey, cut that out! I told you to stop that! <laughs> How am I Jackson? Oh, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Do the moonwalk! Right. Oh, he's like it. Alright, mister. You want some of this? <laughs> oh, Why that sounds wrong. No. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Why does he chase the mime? Because he can. Because the mime <laughs> makes monkey <laughs> gestures at him. Ambulance 31, have you located the crime scene? They've radioed for you three times! Oh. They're just looking for the dog, Sal, mister. Sal, well, you missed some of the conversation, but Lakeside Drive north of Piedmont Pier, south of the Country Club. Man, I don't know. Man, I don't know if it's the clouds out here today or what. Good thing this guy's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's having trouble really this morning. Stuff. Must be some hallucinogens in the coffee this morning. Oh, it's just so misty out here or something. I... Hey, I see a squad car! Got it, Molly? Thank <laughs> God! Have a good one, 9 one <laughs> Interested. P-0P. Yeah, that's you, sir. Stupid man! Hey, you! Get away from that back! Uh, sorry. This is apparently... He was apparently my listening back. to the Boca Raton police dispatch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna walk by and stand next to it. I'm not gonna kick you or anything. I'm going to I, I, oh. I actually, I don't understand oh. why the guy chases the mime. It doesn't make any sense. The mime just like makes some faces at it. And he's like, oh, oh, fuck it, I'm taking that mime down. Narrator, quick. Oh, the crime scene is still at the side. The uh, crime scene team is still at the <laughs> side. Gabriel parks a bit out of the way and walks over to avoid something. <laughs> the blood. <laughs> I really, ho I really hope the crime scene is still at the crime scene. <laughs> By the way, Sugi, that's, that's Mosley there, if you didn't... 
Oh yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, Mostly yeah, right yeah. in the middle. Ha, I just stood over the um, evidence. Hey, mostly. <laughs> mostly, ha. Huh? Huh? No. Hey, hon, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy. Who, me? Don't be stupid. How do you find me? Oh, I was just <laughs> driving by. Thinking oh. about you. Uh-huh. Well, for that book. But don't tell anyone I'd like to see this, huh? Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be an 18 porno book like Twilight. <laughs> It's another one, as you can see. Same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. Do you want to poke it with a stick? That's disgusting. <laughs> uh, isn't this a rather public place for this kind of thing? Nah. I did it in the bushes. <laughs> Wanna go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. Make sure driving is exactly the 10 expressway. But it is open to the public. No reports to nothing. It's like docking. Oh. Mm. Oh. Now, who the hell is that? Couldn't be the morgue guys, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit stupid. I... Ooh, I'm ready for this. Gabriel Knight just gave her an orgasm with his eyes. Uh, what? Could they miss? What, what's going on, Detective? Detective Mosley, madam. We've got a little problem here, but nothing for you to get concerned about, Miss Gad. Geed. I see. Thank you, Detective, and good day, gentlemen. You're mad, you bitch. I'm in love. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You're the stripper. <laughs> Forget that. That's M Malia Giddy. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Or your grandmother. I'm not sure which one. Near, <laughs> near here? My grandma lives near here. No. <laughs> the lake's a popular place for country clubs. Yeah, I have seen your grandma look shack somewhere behind that tree. It, if she's out here a lot, maybe she, <laughs> she saw or heard something about my grandma. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing, I told you. Besides, you don't just go looking around for your grandmother shacking women. <laughs> It's a bit sick. Uh, random person. We're about wrapped it up, sir. It's another clean sweep. What's Just hilarious is that you sound guy. exactly like that guy's voice actor. Do you want to leave an officer here, sir? Nah, just leave the tape up for a few days. Gabriel's neck yes, can uh, shag on the blood. Excuse us, sir. We'll take him away and hump him behind that tree over there. <sighs> Typical practice, then, eh? Watch out for friggin' mortis. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck and the water muck. Moccasins. Mo whatever the moccasins. No, I'll be back at the station. Step five if you want to go over the case some more, and we'll make our own mess. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be wearing some moccasins in the office as well. Oh, Mosley. <laughs> moccasins and not a lot else. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I gotta do some actual detective work here. Detective work? Hmm, <laughs> let me try and get these pants down. <laughs> uh, let me use my thing over here. Oh yeah, I, I see, I see that, I, I see that. Uh, use my tweezers. And uh, I guess I'll get some clay, cause you never know when you're gonna need some clay. Hmm, is that clay? Yuck. No. It no, it's shit. <laughs> good, it'll be God good. God damn it, it's all over my hands. It, ah, I didn't rub be, it on my face. Ah. It'll be good for imprinting on stuff. What happens if you try to use the clay on yourself? Does he, like, put it on the his mo face? The mosey comes back. Hey, it, Top oh, of my moan, man. Moan me. Use me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the, just wrong. All the things we never. That was hear. disturbing. Um, all right. Um, let's go to uh, Louis Cemetery. Number one. <laughs> number one. 
Sorry, I, <sighs> I I went to Louis Cemetery two and then three and then I thought, oh, did Grand say one? I went to one. Okay, I want a couple. See, it's of these. called. Oh, St oh. St it's called St. Louis Cemetery Number One because you're only allowed to urinate on the side of the gravestones. <laughs> so number two, you're allowed to do. Yeah, so number you three, you're allowed to, to do that miracle two. one. Can I have just a minute of your time? Yay! What can I do for you? Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. These folks aren't in a hurry. I'm stereotypically racist. I love it. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at that beard! beard. <laughs> look at the beard! What, what can you tell me about voodoo? Beard, beard, beard. They say it was part of an old religion from Africa. Born here by the slave beards. The slave beards. <laughs> what, what can you tell me about the voodoo matters? My beard did him. <laughs> beardy, 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 beard. Is it just awful and finding those bodies with voodoo things around him? My beard did it. And I mean your grandma. I don't think there's any real voodoo going on. Somebody's trying to cover their beards. Saul. 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 What, what can you tell me about New Orleans? It smells. It seems like everyone needs a beard to get dominance around here. At least once in their lives. And they love the cemetery tours. I see tourists in here every day of the year. I think they just want to stroke my beard though. <laughs> Do you want to? He needs attention. <laughs> Do you know anything about snakes? Trouser snakes? <laughs> snakes? I see snakes around right here all the time. Most of them are poisonous, of course. One's in my pants. He has a big beard. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Gabriel! That's a poisonous trouser snake! <laughs> oh, God. Do you have any idea what Capri San Cor means? Is it like a chocolate bar? No. What are you talking about, David Hasselhoff? <laughs> I can eat this hamburger. Have you ever heard the word Schadenfreude? I don't know what you're talking about. Is that a phrase you use for the package in your pants, David Bowie? <laughs> Tell me about Didn't yourself. you ever see Labyrinth? <laughs> My name is that guy. I'm the watchman. Tell us in Joe <laughs> no, that that guy. That's his name now. That guy. Yeah, that guy. Oh, I can, I can He's one of the watchmen. But a big part of my job too is hitting people up the head with shovel and then burying them. <laughs> <laughs> people come here to pay their respects, and I put them down under. Put them in there, and then people come pay their respects for them, and I do it the same. It's a vicious circle. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm a hitman. Grandma sent me here to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about St. Louis, St. Louis Cemetery War. Oh. I got drunk suddenly. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you know why the dead are buried in tubes and not in the ground, don't you? The water table was too high. That coffin would flow right out of the graves. Then we'd have a Michael Jackson frilly dance here. <laughs> I think a cop tried to organize it a few hours ago with a map. <laughs> Then Dave will go floating right down to the quarter. Then they'll be made into tacos. <laughs> you love me some tacos. What do you think's in the Lucky Dogs? <laughs> taco, taco man. I want oh, I don't have a shovel. I have a rake. Taco man. Yeah. Uh, just wait. I got another question for you. Oh, that looks uh, nothing like the tomb of Marie Laveau. Have you been to it? I'm. I'm. I have. Yes. I'm returning to being jealous again. <laughs> The only reason I went to New Orleans was because I played this game. It was really lame. Uh, <laughs> you like went to New Orleans. You're like, so where's Gabriel Knight? Where's pretty all much. The things that in that game. He, I know he's pretty been. Much. He's been in the place that I've always wanted to go to. He's been on the corner of St. George's and um. Uh, no, he's been to St. <laughs> where's Saint Saint Yeah, he's been to where St. George's. Yeah, there's nothing is. there. Aww. Did you ask him? Did you ask everyone you met what they knew about Rudu? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, when you were what? there, did you ask people about Voodoo? What no, I didn't. About voodoo? Oh. Did you see anyone playing drums? <laughs> no. I feel like the, the second time I went to New Orleans, all I did was get drunk. So maybe if I ever go back to New Orleans, I'll get drunk and then I'll ask people about Voodoo. <laughs> and drums. Yeah, and Schadenjägers and, um, and, and some yeah. Capri saint uh, Oh man, I should go into... 13 for the 10 year anniversary. I'll go June 18th, 2013. <laughs>
Man, I'm no, gonna, I want to go to that too. That would sound awesome. Get like. Let's get, do it. Let's do it. Let's all go. Yeah, get everyone. <laughs> Everyone's to be like, Yeah, everyone. Like everyone be like, it's it, it's um Gabriel Knight. Reunion. And we can even get Jane Jensen to come along too. And maybe we no, can even no. get Tim Curry. No, no. Uh. She's lost respect because she likes the silver lining. Oh. Uh. I've, lost, oh. I've lost like a ton of respect for her. It just went. Oh. Uh, I, I've got a bit of a problem with that. Oh, right, right. T 20 years. Sorry, it won't be. I'm, I was off. I was off. I, I'm confused. Yeah, it'll <laughs> we, be 20 we years. We got rid of the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't happen. No. We're back in um, 2001. Yeah. 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 And, and, Wrestling's and then, still good. And then we can follow it up by uh, doing uh, doing doing um, uh, Bravaria the following year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we can go to Rendle oh, Chateau. God. Actually, I want to go to Rendle Chateau. Well, yeah, so do I. Cause yeah, it, maybe we go to Rendle Chateau. Know, I know that the uh, I know that the uh, what's it called um, the actual the actual church looks exactly the way it does in the game. Yeah. So I'm like, I want to go through. We could that. we could walk in it and start just like quoting the game, and yeah. the priest would be like, "Get the fuck out!" Assholes! <laughs> the floor is tiled. <laughs> You're like, what is that young woman? I hear this shit all the time. Where is it coming from? No, oh. because no, they they would get. You're it. not Abbe Arno. <laughs> yeah. Abbe Arno. Uh, wait, I do not know about any baby. We can walk around. <laughs> we can walk around with some maple syrup and tape and be like, "Has anybody seen any cats? <laughs> I need a mustache." I brought this cat hair from home. <laughs> we, we could also we could go there with the actual book as well, the the Holy Grail book, because actually is oh, a real yeah. book. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We could like we could all go there and just like leave the books laying out, just like yeah. yeah. We yeah. Should, we we'll take we'll take a copy of Le Serpent Rouge and have all these maps <laughs> in here. <laughs> Lamest, lamest thing ever. If only we, if only we could hire scooters and like one of us has to actually ride a proper motorbike. <laughs> uh, that will be me because I obviously I'm Gabriel Mine. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. So could it just be Mosley? Mosley doesn't get a Mosley. scooter in that game. No. Yes, he does. He gets, he gets the lame girly purple one. <laughs> yes. yes! <laughs> That's cool. Oh, so just like yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let let let's talk to uh. Let's, let's talk, continue. Let, let's talk to the. Let's, talk let's to the finish this story. game. Uh, Grand talks about you a lot, Holly. You were her sister, Harley Quinn, who died. Uh, oh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. That makes you my grandma. Great, always great, talks great. to you. <laughs> <laughs> grandma always talks about you, Harley. She's always like. Man, I remember I used to ride that Harley like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> and then when it broke down, I had it buried and said it was my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's his husband. Her husband's in there, isn't it? No, yeah, in this one. How's it going, granddaddy? Terrible, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, daddy. Your That's grand your mama said. Daddy? I'm disappointed in you, son. Daddy. You ain't grand, fucked enough uh, women yet. <laughs> your grand didn't flash me your tips every day like she used to. Miss you, mom. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you I'm are gone. terrible, son. I'll be back in five minutes. I've got a John in here. <laughs> I guess I I'll should... replace you with another child. I oh, guess I should Christ. go visit actually, closely. You know, there there actually is a police station on the corner of whatever streets those are. Royal and Conti, I think. Yeah, but. We, we should go in and be like, is Officer Frick here? <laughs> can we, can we speak to Detective Mosley? <laughs> we bring in donuts and just throw it at the front desk guy and run out. Got a second, Officer. What can I do you for? <laughs> uh, oh, he sounds sad. Do, do you know anything about snakes? <laughs> Whoa, poison! <laughs> <laughs> All I know about snakes is that they're poisonous. <laughs> All of them. What do you know? What Cabri San Cor means? And say that I do. Uh, have you ever heard of a Schattenfeuer? Can't say that I have, but it sounds dirty. Hey. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. 
Oh, if you're going on back there, I'll wait up here. <laughs> oh. oh, best thing Cedric's ever. Cedric's such a one-note character. Yeah. <laughs> wait, I got the plunger suit on. Oh, shit. Detective Mosley, hard at work, I see. Bend over. <laughs> that, come on in. I'll come later. Can I ask you about some stuff? Ooh, you're the writer. Ask away. I've lost my accent. <laughs> you have. Get it back, get it back, boy. Get it back. It's because you saw that beard. Yeah. It's just hey. the ever. Hey. <laughs> there we go. What can you tell me about voodoo? It's kinky. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking. <laughs> There's voodoo that comes on in the city show. <laughs> 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 also, th this, this image of Mosley makes him look like he's wall-eyed, because the left eye looks like it's staring off in the other direction. <laughs> but the voodoo fan of the crime scene is a fake. It doesn't have anything to do with real stuff. I know. I asked an expert. It's intimidation tactics. That's all. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I'm bloody on the case, you twat. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you become Lots, British? Can you be more specific? When did you become British? <laughs> Do you know? I know it's what you like, Gabriel. Do you know anything about born. the killers? No, this wouldn't be a case anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At least twenty people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Footprints? Mm -hmm. Aren't those as good as fingerprints? No, they're fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd have to make a suspect in custody first, and the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Oh, crap. I, I think, I I think when, the, uh, when the key line comes up, I think we should all say it at the same time. Most you know of which the are smashed. Trodden over. These oh, guys are so you. casual and they're experts. It's maddening. We also find semen stains, but we don't know how to do DNA shit yet. <laughs> when you are lean, we're a bit uh, thick. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the voodoo murder case. You could just read a fucking newspaper. You don't sound gay enough. Sound gayer. <laughs> Sorry! I'll go back to the Michael Jackson voice. <laughs> yes, do the, that. The M.O. is the same in each murder. Leg ported shit. <laughs> <laughs> Leg ported shit. Leg ported shit. <laughs> what kind of evidence have you found? That Leg ported oh, shit. Oh, demon. No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Oh, they weren't wearing shoes. My mistake. It's just fucking come Oh, down. Here we go, here we go, ready? Found a few fibers, but not many. <laughs> Leopard ones. One, two, three. Leopard <laughs> It was oh, from my bondage gear. <laughs> Only Tim Curry is a love on four. <laughs> what do you want, doggy? I told you all love on four. There's a corpse itself. <laughs> After we violated it, minus the heartbeat. Around where the body was killed, we found marks in the flower? And blood. There are traces of wax from candles. They like candle play. Do you like candle play? I have some candles <laughs> in the draw. <laughs> also blood of feathers of chickens. You wanna be you want me to tickle your feet? And goat's blood. <laughs> Plenty of the victims own the car. You know, they have died. Well, what what does the coroner say? The dead. <laughs> <laughs> the victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We're currently looking for the bad guy from the Indian second Indiana Jones film. Lovely. What any idea what they do with that leper for? I eat them. <laughs> also, the coroner says son saw the victims had heart attack before the incision. Literally scared to death. Or stabbed with drugs. You know, I I'd rather be scared to death than have someone stab me in the chest and rip my heart out while I was alive. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ri ritualistic dagger. Mm. Or, you know, What do you know about Leperfall? <laughs> <laughs> I have some in my closet, if you want to see. Any witnesses? <laughs> no. There's never Just been a single Leperfall. witness. No one's ever heard a disturbance. Leperfall. Except when we get on the body and hump. <laughs> <laughs> it that was pretty weird. disturbing. <laughs> like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing except your grandma. 
<laughs> I gotta go let my dog out. <sighs> I saw your grandma. Right back. She was wearing level four. Level four. <laughs> level four. I'm the way out. I've gotta quickly let my dog out to the garden. No one. Quick, gonna... quick. Oh. He's not actually oh. kidding. He's really doing it. <laughs> okay, who's gonna be random? Um, mostly in the meantime. He'll be back in a second. He's only gonna open the door and yeah. kick We can talk out. more about Level 4. Level 4! Level 4! <laughs> I love it because it's, like, it's actually like Leopard 4. 4 Leopards. Four. Four. four Leopards? <laughs> no, no, Leopards. Leopards. No one to think about. Level 4. Never. No one to think about the Leopard 4. <laughs> the victims are all out of town. We still don't know why. Because they're from uh, Leopard 4. Gone. I've got oh. Laura Bow. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Sure, no problem. When are you gonna bend over? God's sake. Hurry what, up! What, oh. what can you tell me about New Orleans? You and me grew up together. You tell me. Oh. You're really small. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> it's a pretty nice place, even seeing the stuff I see. You know, like your, your pants. <laughs> it's horribly disfigured. <laughs> The qu this quarter is getting a bit too wild, though. All the noise from us and your grandma. Oh, not quite, oh. <laughs> not quite, what, not quite what it was when it was only your grandma. Hell, I've never <laughs> known anything else except your grandma's bloody dick. <laughs> do, do you know anything about snakes? I know about your package. <laughs> <laughs> and I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you know about Cadbury Sand Cores new ice cream? It means bend the fuck over my desk already. Is that French? I'm never spoken, <laughs> but I always had a hand over my penis just speaking English. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> uh, have you ever heard of a Schadenfreude? Isn't that the thing you call me? <laughs> Is that like Chuck Yeager? Uh, I don't think there's any relations. I'll give you relations. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> In your pants. For the book? Uh, well, I'm nine inches. Sure, why not? Thick. <laughs> when I, when I take the Viagra in the morning, I get to about 6.6 6 inches. <laughs> How do you like Four working months. on the force? <laughs> People keep walking in my office on the nail. <laughs> it's pretty awkward, especially when I, I'm, I'm screwing the desk boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you think I'm talking? <laughs> no, wait, wait. If you're going in there, I'll stay right here. <laughs> oh. I don't like we don't it. You know, I don't like to count my hours before the hatch. I don't see why I can't be the chief of police in New Orleans someday. Except for the sexual harassment charges. <laughs> don't, know why the new, don't know why the new recruits keep doing that. They're not doing anything kind of illegal. Sure, it's just a matter of moments, mostly. What, for the next sexual harassment charge? Probably. <laughs> what? Why is this giving me an awake check? What? I don't know. I think it's, I think we haven't clicked on it like recently. No. Uh, <laughs> it did uh, it to me, and I was like, yes. <laughs> Got any hobbies? Besides you, <laughs> I'm a boy scout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Don't you like shoot or chew or something? I shoot a lot. Uh, you should know. I, I, I hope he chews. <laughs> you know when he eats. And I swallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was number one. I was one of Louisiana State tra Blowing Championships. You know, put your lips together and blow. <laughs> How's your home life? <laughs> oh, real funny night. Why don't you just come home and bring me a bloob and donuts? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Andy left me after she found out I was screwing every cop in the building. Alright, and right. you. Quick pause, because I've got the awake check as well. <laughs> I am! No, you're not. You're screaming, for God's sakes. You should be awake. Just tell me anything at all. <laughs> Remember how we used to play monkey at the fish? 
<laughs> we used to piss our senior year teacher. What was her name? Mr. McKelly. You'd act like you were gonna toss him off. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it to me instead. He was so angry. And we used to do it to Grant. <laughs> yep, it was a great way to pick up women in the library. Oh, those were the days. How is that a great way to pick up a woman? Hey, woman, I'm gonna throw you this eraser. <laughs> no, I threw it over your head. Wanna fuck? <laughs> Oh! Just tell me. Oh. It was the 80s. Yeah. Everyone's too comfortable. You know, my doctor told me I got erectile dysfunction. So I've been stealing your Viagra. Sorry, David Bowie. Hope you won't mind. Sorry, Hoggle. Oh, oh, no, your doctor shouldn't give you your medication because ulcers aren't caused by stress. Yeah. Thanks to some Australian doctors who found out what really caused them. But, hey, we're hey, talking about, we're talking about 93. Just tell I'm me. Say, this is still a period piece where it hasn't worked that out yet. Anything. There was no Viagra at 93. <laughs> either. Give me my back you. hurts. I, I need some Spanish. And I'll be on top my for ass hurts. I, I, I need <laughs> some be on top for once. I need some Spanish fly. <laughs> Just tell me need anything at all. For the book, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was young. Or a fireman. I want it to be an You'd astronaut. A does, does he actually ride him or into an the Indian, pool? or a cowboy, or a motorcycle guy, or an Indian? I, I wanted to be a table. <laughs> <laughs> wow! No one, saw that <laughs> no one saw that because no one else can see the video. Uh, <laughs> oh, but it's alright. We saw it. <laughs> all right. But uh, but you know um, what's it called? Uh, he he writes the book after the the game. So when the next game starts up. Um, he's, it's, like, it's a bestseller! But was Mosley in it? Oh, that's a good question. I think so. Well, they, yeah, p probably because they he changed it from a from a female orthodontist to a place called Blake... What was the last name? Blake Backshot. Blake something... Back, Blake Backshot or something. Oh, yes, it's like Blake... Yeah, something it, it. it's something like that. It's something really weird. I, I think there's a letter at the beginning of Gabriel Knight 2 from Mosley where he's like, Why did you make me a fat guy in your book? <laughs> it's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Look at damn cake. Weird. How about getting me some damn coffee? I have some coffee body pain. And oh, I'm, a, I'm apparently asleep. Yes, I'm still here. I, oh, it's blurry. Should that surprise you? What, that fell asleep? Nah, you've always been a caffeine <laughs> addict. I bought coffee body paint. You wanna leg it off? <laughs> so, I'm desperate. <gasps> <laughs> it's your stomach. I'll get you some dip talk. Thank you. That <clears throat> long? <laughs> I'll show you what else is long. <laughs> off he goes. 6.6 oh. six inches, Gabriel. I'm just gonna watch him go. Six. Oh yeah, oh. Six inches Look. of coffee. Salted taste. <laughs> Looks like Don't you touch yourself all oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's got some. He's got some. Spe it, actually, it does kind of look like I am touching myself. But uh, <laughs> it, uh, it looks like there's some Spanish fly in the window. Do you know? Well, what? He I, just... thought you, I thought you kicked him out so you could search his office. Not like, at this point. Here. At this point, it's Drink just drinking. It. It hasn't gotten hypno or anything like Can I ask you about some more stuff? Uh, ask away. I got those photographs you left me. Oh, did you like the one where you were bound and I was? Uh, yeah. not, 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 not those photos. Not, not those ones. Really great. What'd you think? I, started I, started to like. I did some photoshopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Got you any more ideas for photos for the book? Uh, I'll, I'll save the cop over the over the over for later, cause we don't need that right now. <laughs> or do we? Okay, but oh, you shouldn't underestimate the power of my beefcake, my friend. My uh, beefcake? Yeah. Beefcake four thousand. Beefcake four thousand. Beefcake. Do you know anything about the patterns around the body? Yeah, weird, huh? I think it was. All seven victims had the markings around them. 
I think of it as the younger policemen. We've they got like all to the, draw we, patterns when I'm naming them. We've got all the marks on Gone file, but... Oh, sorry, that's you. But we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. I think it's, stop, please, it hurts. Uh, <laughs> have you ever called the hair club for men? <laughs> La <Le bonsoir. laughs> I'd rather have no hair than your hair night. Now bend over the table or I'm gonna whip you. Oh, oh, <laughs> too far, too far. I have some leopard so, fur for your uh, hair. <laughs> how do you ever find leopard fur in this office? It looks like ground leopard fur. <laughs> leopard fur. <laughs> hey, I get my leopard fur done. I'm a detective, not a Betty Crocker with leopard fur. Leopard fur. Leopard fur. I think that's what his jacket's made out of, leopard fur. <laughs> <laughs> it has been bleached it's the black spots out. Try, trying to get a real estate job with that leopard fur coat. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get a, be a pimp. <laughs> Dana leans away and needs more pimps. I, I think you might need a purple jacket for that, mostly. <laughs> Who cares? It's real fur. Uh, are those new shoes? What are those? Hush puppies? Kind of mud brown suede kind of thing? No, Gabriel. They're dead puppies. I just put my feet in them. <gasps> oh. 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 oh! Oh, I'm sad. Oh! Now. Oh! oh. <laughs> mostly just kind of dark, bitches. Yeah, you yeah, and, my and grand your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother Alma. Uh, you know, you have a unique way of wearing clothes that's uh, well, they kind of hang, kind of pleating over that stomach of yours, drooping off your butt. We can't all have the body of a twelve-year-old like you, Knight, which I love. Yes. Uh, also, why are you staring at my ass? I, I keep him in my <laughs> closet. Um, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Stop staring at my ass, Knight. Mostly alone. Wait, I'm trying to. Oh, I keep forgetting. Door. Hand works on door, if you ask me. Ciao, baby. Hand on water. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even have to change the phrase into that. You just said ciao, baby. Mm. Mm. Um, trying to think what else I need to do for day one. Oh, I have to go tell Grace to research. <clears throat> Flash. Oh, ha. Oh. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. So I came. <laughs> Darth, your grace. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, sorry, I went to sleep. He's not talking anyway. Got a minute, grace. Yeah. What's up? Your pants. In my pants. Not uh, anymore. Do, do you know anything about snakes? <laughs> oh, shit. Doing a family tree, Gabriel. Very funny. I mean, real estate. Also, her know, voice changed. Scaly, cold blooded. <laughs> I would have thought you'd find them empathic. Ah. Oh. Mm hmm. I know very little about reptiles of any kind and prefer to keep it that way. I think there's a book on snakes around here somewhere, though. Snakes, snakes in Viagra. What? I thought you oh, kept it in your bedroom. Oh, okay, thanks. What's Viagra? <laughs> you, you've been told, Darth, that, he, that she thinks she would sound Asian. <laughs> and? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, tall! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one line. You can do it. One line. Do you know what me love Cadbury you long sounds time. cause means? It means me love you long time. <laughs> oh, no. Sounds much fence, though. Oh. <laughs> love you a long time? To <laughs> Dada? Uh, have you heard of a schadenfreude? No, is that a voodoo word? I don't think so. It's German. <laughs> it's German. <laughs> hmm, no. But it has a nice ring, doesn't it? Schadenfreude. In your pants. <laughs> uh, re uh, yeah. Can you do some research for me? Sure. What? Check out Melia Getty, as my friend here has already named her. <laughs> Melia. Hmm. That name, Getty, sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, you know, stuff in her stuff stuff. If, uh, <laughs> you can, uh, get an address. Mm-hmm. The murders, right. I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? No, Asshole? I can't think of anything. 
You can't think of anything ever, Gabriel or not. Okay. Okay. Oh. I think that's it for the day. There we go. Well, it's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream, okay? What ends because if I then? find out you've dreamt about me one more fucking time, <laughs> taking that penis home with me. I was gonna say, oh. hey, 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 I dreamed something nice about you. <laughs> she doesn't like that. I'm just gonna steal She's your crazy. back, okay? We shocked all the audience. Oh, here's my dream. And there's a guy with a fire, and oh, he's got glitter and eyes, and he's like, oh, that bitch is burning. That's so sexy. <laughs> bitch, oh, stop oh, burning! Oh god. She, oh god, she level it. four. She oh, level four. <laughs> oh my god, she's level four. Oh, and then there's a medallion that's spinning, and oh, oh, I spilled some tomato sauce on it. Oh, Ketchup. And, and something about my store, and oh, that guy's got a snake, and it's not in these trousers no more. It's a very Freudian dream he's having. Yeah. Oh, and and and, and then I dreamt about that man. I thought I dreamt about. I dreamt about a man that had been hung. <laughs> that, <laughs> well hung. Okay, we go. Well day hung two. Man. Day two. A mask I wore as I approached. I was what I am not. I know the pen was unclear. Its meaning could be bought. I need to stop for food. So do oh, I. So we might call this a, a done part for now, but we should definitely come back. We'll just... Sure thing. We just... Yeah, I haven't done my Christopher Walken voice yet. <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> Christopher not... Walken, what are you doing? Maybe, maybe we... Good morning. We'll Don't good. you look swell today? Actually swollen oh. downstairs. So have some. <laughs> There's a fresh pot on the table downstairs. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a. Oh, um, not a penis. It always does that. Never mind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Maybe we will, uh. Oh, sorry, here you go. You Did you dream you about break. the fire and the hanged guy and that leopard fall <laughs> thing again <laughs> last night? Leopard, not lion. <laughs> so, did you get anything on? Mainly, I get it. Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. Really? She has a penis at least six foot long. <laughs> the, Get the Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. So did you get a leopard fall? <laughs> I got the leopard fall. I suppose she has nothing to do with the fact that Melia Getty is incredibly gorgeous. And I might have touched myself to her repeatedly. Oh, ah, I oh. should have known you would go for a rich, ugly socialite. And then I sent a picture is... to your grandma. She approves. She went for a visit. <laughs> hey, far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 <laughs> West yes. Ingram. That's the Garden District, Estate City. And that's all I needed to know. And yes, my dear, Melia Getty is the most dangerous looking diversion I've ever seen. <laughs> mm hmm Men. <laughs> I love Grace's sassy. Mm hmm <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Before we uh, call this the end You of went there, girlfriend! <laughs> before we call this an end of a part, we should uh, probably drop in on Dr. John just so that we can hear a bit of walking. Oh, right. <laughs> it, just, it, just one small Christopher Walken line. <laughs> for a teaser. See you later. Good luck. Asshole. <laughs> Jackass. Jackass. You never touch me. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, here's my back. You like my back? Oh, it's good back. Oh, yeah. You like my <laughs> jeans. Welcome, my friends. <laughs> Hello. I'm the proprietor, Dr. John. <laughs> if you have any questions, I'll be happy to assist. Great. My name's Nat. And I'll probably take you up on that. But not today! No, no. <laughs> Another we, day! <laughs> yes. We're, 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 we're I can scarcely contain my anticipation. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken! 
I'm black. I'm big. <laughs> if only you could dance like Christopher Walken. Uh, he probably can, we haven't seen. We have never seen this man dance. The big dance number comes later on St. John's Eve. <laughs> Dance this is a quiet place you have here. I just want to hear one more. We're supposed to be stopping, not not doing more. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Knight. I've dedicated myself to the preservation of this unique culture. <laughs> it is gratifying to see others <laughs> reap the fruits I've sown. Uh, right, so that is a good place to stop. We will see you guys yes. next time in the recording. So, uh, bye! Oh, that is so freaking classic.